Hey all you super players out there, Ben Lodice aka 5 Buck Lunch. Uh, just coming at you with a little special message for this week. Uh, lots of stuff to talk about since Vegas happened, so I'm going to try and do a video every day this week, including tomorrow where I'm going to do my own personal deck, that top, top 8 at the regional. And for this month, for the Patreon, for the $5 tier, I'm going to be giving away my top 8 mat that I got. So please enter for that, and you get a chance to win this really cool looking top 8 mat. Uh, one quick note for that, there was a little confusion. Make sure you stay in the tier until the second of the month, because otherwise uh, it won't charge you and you won't be in the raffle. I do the raffle on the second of each month. So uh, yeah, enjoy this video and look forward to lots of videos this week. Hey all you super players out there, Ben Lodice aka 5 Buck Lunch, coming out to the deck profile from Mike Friend, who took top 32 in the Tournament of Power. Uh, why don't you go ahead, Mike? All right, so once again, just like the Chicago Regional, we are playing the Surge Broly Leader. Uh, it's a very consistent leader. Uh, once per turn, either player's turn, when you combo with a red or green card, you get to draw a card. Uh, his Surge is a red and a green. You get to draw two, untap two. On the Awaken side, uh, once per turn, uh, active battle, uh, when your life is at three or less, you can attach one of the materials underneath them to either uh, KO any battle card, ignoring barrier, or combo with a card from your drop and give him double strike from the turn. Uh, both very powerful. It's super defensive and super offensive at the, at the drop of a pin, so it's really good. Uh, go on to the main deck here. Uh, so we are running two of this Broly from the, uh, what is this, from Tournament Pack? Or the uh, Tournament Entry thing? Mm -hmm. So, no, it's uh, from the starter deck. Uh, two of this Broly, uh, it's really good. People are leaving energy open all the time right now when you play it. They've got two or more open energy. You get to take a look at their hand, take a card out of it, or take a battle card out of it that's got 20k or less. So super good. Gets rid of topos, gets rid of all the nasty counter plays. They usually just want to sit on it. They don't like to waste it on this because you still have all your energy open. Uh, we've got four of this Frieza. Uh, this card's very powerful right now. Uh, it comes in play, draws a card, so it immediately replaces itself. And drawing cards is really big with your leader because you don't need ever plus cards. You just float cards. And then uh, as many times as you want per turn, uh, during battle, you can tap a red card to give anything minus 10k. Give it to leaders, give it to battle cards. So, uh, with one of these on the board, you can basically not combo anything and still be super defensive as long as you keep your energy open. And then, uh, if you're ever not using it for its effect, you just combo it off, get your leader draw effect going. Uh, I'm running four of this Chi Chi. Uh, it's a red green multicolor deck, and this just turns your uh, leader into a plus one. Because when you combo with her, if you've got two or more red green multicolor energy in your energy area, she draws a card. And then when you combo with your leader, it's going to draw a card. Uh, this deck's biggest problem is not drawing enough cards because you just float cards most of the game. So having uh, cards that actually net you cards instead of just floating is really important. Uh, three of the Dormant Legends. Uh, you have to have these in order to play your big arrival Broly. Um, you almost never activate it unless you're really desperate, but have to have it for the Broly. Uh, four of this Goten, uh, it puts the Dormant Legend in the drop. When you combo with it, you get to take Dormant Legend from your deck, put it in the drop area, untap one of your energy, and then if you have five or less cards in your hand, you get to draw a card. So your big turn two play is you'll combo with this. Uh, as long as you haven't taken a life, you're, this'll, it'll put you down to five cards in hand. So you'll untap the energy you used for it, You'll draw a card, and it's a multicolor card, so you get to do your big Broly arrival all on turn two. Uh, four of the uh, Checkland Broly. It's just your generic red-green. If you have a red-green already charged, it comes in untapped. Uh, I'm running two of this uh, Goku Ape. Uh, Piccolo is the next only really bad matchup. You struggle with Piccolo so much. I was hoping I'd main these and try to mitigate losing so many cards so fast. It, it did not help. Still a very good card. I don't regret playing it. Did not do as much as I wanted it to. Uh, for super combos, I'm running the uh, Nappa super combo. Uh, when you combo with it, uh, any amount of life, after you combo with it, it comes into play. So with your leader, you're going to combo with it, you're going to draw a card, and then it's going to come into play so you can use it to draw another card on your next turn, which, again, super important to draw cards in this. So it's kind of like having two super combos and drawing two cards instead of your generic one-for-ones. Um, another super important thing about this is it's multicolored, so you don't need to tap energy to do your arrival plays, which is a big thing you do in this deck. Uh, we got two Vegeta the Cruel. 
Uh, it's just a really powerful card. I said in my Chicago deck profile, I wish I was maining these because I sided them in every game. Decided to bring them over from the side to the main and they didn't disappoint. Hits a lot of things in the meta right now with the Piccolos running the uh, Goku Black and Zamasu engine. You can get Goku Black off the board real fast. Uh, with the successor, with all the successor lines, you can get their three drops and stuff off the board. Uh, it's a really good card. Uh, I'm running one God Strike Beerus. Uh, I was only really running this uh, to use off my leader's effect if someone empties my hand and then goes for a game shot on something I couldn't really KO, mostly Kaioken, uh, because my leader can KO it. I can still get rid of the triple strike and just turn it into a single damage. And then uh, I think that was really the only reason I played this card. I feel like there was another reason, but I can't think of it right now. Uh, two of the multicolor edits. It's just uh, if you have a red-green multicard charged, it uh, lets you combo with it for free. It's a red-green for your arrivals. His effect isn't bad. It's not really something you want to waste four energy on, though. Uh, two of this Champ of Beerus. Uh, it's an arrival for one. It requires red-green. You tap a red for it. When it comes into play, KO something 20k or less, and then gives one of your other battle cards with six or less double strike, uh, which is really good because everything in this deck is almost six or less. But most importantly, you can give your six drop Broly double strike. So you're just swinging 30k double strike. And then uh, that little bit of spot removal is useful sometimes because you have a lot of cards that neg your opponent's battle cards. Uh, we've got three Broly Swift Executioner. This is one of the champ pack cards. Uh, active battle, red and a green. Uh, put him into play. And then when he comes into play, he gives one of your opponent's cards negative 10k. And then you can take one card from your life and put it into your hand to randomly discard a card from your opponent. Uh, it's a really good card when you're trying to get aggressive. It's just two energy for a 20k critical, replaces itself because you take a life and you get to take a card out of their hand and give something neg 10k. This card is absolutely amazing. Uh, I'm running four of the Unbreakable Saiyan Gokus. It's kind of like the Chi Chi from earlier, but it costs one. When I combo with it, it draws a card. Then off my leader effect, I draw another card. I said it earlier, drawing cards is super important in this deck because all you ever do is float, so you never really gain advantage. I was hoping these would swing the ties of the Piccolo matchup a little bit, and it helped some, but it wasn't quite enough. But it's still a really good card. Drawing two is never bad. I'm uh, running two of the Vegeta Exploiting Weakness. Uh, really good counterplay. Uh, just cost three because our leader's red. When it comes into play, you give everything on your opponent's board negative 20k for the turn and give your leader 5k. So it's just really good on uh, boards that like to go wide. Um, it's not too good against, you would think it'd be amazing against Jiren, but it's not great against Jiren because they give uh, everything two or less barrier. But uh, with your six drop Broly, uh, in, during your turn, you can put him into play, get rid of the barrier card, the card that gives everything barrier, and then just put one of these in play to sweep the whole board. I'm running two of this Gogeta. It's another red-green. It's got a rival for one. Double strike, uh, when it comes into play, you just KO anything four or less. Uh, the KOing wasn't a huge deal. Uh, it was mostly just some extra aggression for a one cost 20k double striker. And then we get to our big boy. We got the six drop Broly. Uh, he's a rival, one red, one green. Uh, when he comes into play, he gives two cards, minus 15, ignoring barrier. And then once per turn during either player's turn, when your opponent combos, you can take any card in their combo area and put it in the drop. This card is crazy good against uh, all the uh, other arrival things right now, the green, yellow, Broly arrivals and stuff, because they have to combo extra cards to get their stuff into play. So it's really huge tempo swings. Uh, I'm running the red-green secret rare. Uh, it's just a game winner. It costs you five pings for two damage and makes it almost, makes you almost impossible to out-combo. Uh, my big play was I'd be at four life, they'd be at four life. I'd go for my swing. I'd plop this on the board for the two damage, and that puts me down to three, and then I can use my leader's awakened ability to give myself double strike for the turn. So it's a four damage swing that they don't really see coming. Uh, and then I'm running one, Foo Shrouded in Mystery. Uh, you tend to get uh, pretty high in energy because the deck can be so defensive or so offensive. It just depends how you want to play. Uh, I figured the Piccolo matchups were going to be really grindy, and they were, so I, I thought this would be really good. Gets through the negates and all that. Uh, and it's just a really good card. If you reach that six energy and you slap this on the board, the game is basically over. Uh, move on to the side deck. All right, so in the side, I'm maining two of For the Greater Good. Uh, so one cost green negate. Uh, the big thing that I liked about it is while it's in your drop area, you can uh, 
remove it itself and a green card from your hand from the game to negate an attack. This was really important in the Piccolo matchups because a lot of times you have an empty hand, they'd give you one card and then they'd swing with something else. So you'd still be able to get the negate off if it was going to get rid of your card, like the uh, Android 13, I think it is? No, it's 17. The, the big one that when it swings, it takes a card out of your hand. So anyways, you get to do that, and then it was really good against Invoker matchups, because when they plop their Secret Rare, they use their Leader effect to look through your hand for negates. Even if they get rid of this from my hand, I can still use it from the drop. Uh, I'm running one more of this monkey. It was basically exclusively for the Piccolo match. It didn't really matter if they were plucking too many cards out of your hand. You just you weren't using a lot of your energy. You just tap two, draw two more cards, try to keep yourself in the game. Uh, I was running two Popo Guardian's Aid. Uh, I'm side decking Kaiokens this time around, and you have a really hard time filling, fulfilling the requirements for the 20 and drop. So I stuck two of these in there just to kind of help me get there. Uh, it never came up, but that's why it's in here. Uh, two, Haru Haru. Uh, it's really good. A lot of the most popular leaders right now are uh, green and yellow. Uh, you've got the Piccolo leader, you've got the Cell leader, you've got the Surge Coup leader. So um, she's really good against those. She's basically a free put and play 15 critical. She helps you fulfill your Kaioken if you're putting that in during that matchup. Uh, this card's been in every side deck of mine, I think, since like set four. Really good card. Uh, two, Cease to Exist. This was another card that I sided for the Invoker matchup. Just lets you get their Invoked Vegeta off the board on three or something. Um, they're not really playing a lot of cards, so you're, you don't need to keep your energy open too much for defense. And you really just want to be able to get rid of that Vegeta so they're not stopping your plays. Uh, I sided three Topo. Um, I wasn't main in these this time around because I didn't think there was too many decks just going crazy wide. You've already got a really good Boo matchup and your Gohan matchup is pretty decent because your super combos allow you to use them twice. So it uh, really lets you defend a lot easier. And uh, these basically just came in for the Gohan matchups just in case you, you didn't see your super combos. You want negates, it really shuts them out. If they've used their effects, you get that last negate through, the game's just over. Uh, I'm running two Kaiokens. Uh, it's really good in the grindy games. It's really good against Piccolo. I think the favorite thing I did this weekend is uh, Piccolo left me at 8 life all game. I got to 7 energy and I just slapped it down and I took 7 cards out of his hand. So that was real fun. He was, uh, he was not happy about that. And then I'm running one more Foo, Shrouded in Mystery in the side. Again, it's for those really grindy games. It's a really good card against other, like, against control decks and slow roll decks. So it's just a really powerful card. Double Strike 30k turns everything off besides the leader. All right, Mike. Well, congratulations on your top 32. Is there anything you would have changed in the deck going back? Um... I probably might have tried more cards to fight against Piccolo. It's the deck's worst matchup. I felt like all weekend I had no bad matchups besides Piccolo, and that's those were my only losses. I've only lost to Piccolo all weekend, so all right, Mike. Well, once it. again, congratulations, and uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Please like, subscribe.